Is it appropriate though in motorsport to use this as a platform for this cause? And, and, and let me add to that, I mean there have been groups like Amnesty International that have said, you know, the FIA has been a bit deaf when it comes to running races or letting F1 races be run in countries that have a poor human rights record. Sports washing, I think, is the technical term for this. Obviously, these issues have to be handled sensitively, but, but is it the job of the FIA to Sorry. have to address these, these questions? I mean, you know, motorsport has not to be used as a political platform. That's absolutely essential. Saying that, going in certain countries where there are some doubts about uh, the way things are occurring, I mean, we give the opportunity of people to talk, you know, and uh, I think uh, we give some more visibility to the countries. And I mean, there is a full uh, freedom to anybody who wants uh, to speak, who wants to demonstrate, uh, they can do it, they can do it. But motorsport has to remain a sport and sport in general uh, should not be involved uh, with uh, political issues. So, so it would be inappropriate to, to, to push some of these countries out of the F1 calendar because uh, they do I mean, have some But you know, a lot, lot of progress uh, have been done. I mean, you take uh, Saudi Arabia. I mean, Saudi Arabia until 2018 could not host uh, one uh, international event because women were forbidden to drive. Now women can drive. So, I mean, changes are occurring but uh, we should not get involved in political matters.